We know how important the vegetation is to our native fish because we have fish that use it for spawning, they use it for habitat for, you know, most of their adult life. If the grass carp effectively reduced the amount of vegetation currently growing in shallow and pounded areas in the Great Lakes and in the Bay of Quinte, and they destroyed that habitat, then our native fishes would be in big trouble. Big, big, big trouble. It would, it would destroy the commercial fishery. My name is Kendall Dewey. I'm a fourth generation commercial fisherman. And I live here in Prince Edward County. I fished with my father the last year that he fished. And the reason he had to quit fishing was because of an invasive species. I can remember going out with him on weekends and seeing the white fish come up in the nets and around the roller and there would still be sea lamprey attached to them. And if they didn't have sea lamprey, they'd have scars on them where the sea lamprey had been attached. That was an invasive species. That's what caused him to quit fishing. Commercial fishing in Ontario and in this country, period, is one of the oldest industries. It's important because we are providing food for people. My wife and I have been partnered for probably more years than she would like to, <laughs> to remember. And uh, in the last three or four years, we have had a new crew member join us at certain times of the year to help us out because we're getting old. <laughs> okay. Steve's great, and his brother-in-law and himself asked us about selling one of our fisheries. So they bought that license, and this past summer, they caught a 47 and a half pound grass carp in one of their trap nets. Right now, they're rare enough and unusual enough that uh, you make the effort to uh, take it to the Ministry of Natural Resources. It's properly identified, let the biologists have a look at it, open it up. But if Asian carp were to become established in numbers even half as numerous as what they are in portions of the southern United States right now, when I dump that hoop net, I'm not going to see all that variety of fish. I'm gonna see Asian carp, and I'm gonna see the odd this and the odd that. And that would make me feel the same way my father probably felt in 1967. My life is done. <laughs>